Hey friends, this is Miss Volfi from our Half Acre Homestead. And <clears throat> if you haven't guessed by my voice by this far, I've got a really bad cold or the flu. I'm not sure which, but it's been coming on since, what's today? Today is Tuesday. It started on Sunday. It started on Sunday uh, with the itchy eyes and the itchy nose and then the sneezing and then the coughing and and uh, I woke up this morning and my chest was sore and and I'm j I've got the flu I've got the flu but you know what ticks me off is Wolfie strips down to his boxers jumps through a hole in the ice of the Ottawa River and is disgustingly healthy and yet I bundle up and all this stuff and and I'm sicker than a dog I, I mean I'm sick but, I mean, I'm drinking my, I got my herbal tea with my honey, lemon, ginger tonic. But I blame myself because I didn't have this stuff made up in advance this year. Because I got cocky. Go figure, eh? Go figure. So, I haven't had any work done on, on the rug yet. I am got planning on it. I've got a lot, lot of time between now and March when all my other stuff starts to, to get crazy. It's uh, 1.30 in the afternoon and I just got out of bed. Um... I am working on my paper piece grandmother's flower garden quilt but as you know that's taking time so I'm hoping in a few days to have enough to show you at least how to sew the blocks together into rows and then in another video I'll show you how to sew the rows together but I need to show you how to make a half block so we'll get to that soon anyway um, I went out to collect the eggs because it's been so cold it's been like minus 20 degrees celsius i don't know what that is in fahrenheit it's probably like minus five or minus ten somewhere around there but they've been you know by the time howie gets home they've been frozen and cracked so um i just went out to see if i could collect some eggs to save some and there were there were three and two of them were frozen and it's only 1 30 in the afternoon but the temperature seems to be breaking some. You know what they say, as the days lengthen, the cold strengthens. Because January, February seems to be our two coldest months. But anyway, I have another predicament. I have three more roosters. So what we initially thought was two roosters and 11 hens turned out to be what we thought, then discovered we had more roosters. So we took out two roosters when we were doing the turkey at Christmas and when I went out to collect the eggs I have three roosters out there still uh, so I really didn't do a head count but I'm thinking I've got like seven hens and three roosters and but the good news is um, one of them's a crossbreed he kinda looks like Spot our last um, our last rooster, who was, I can't even remember the name of it, but the other two roosters, one is a dark Cornish, and one is the Black Copper Moran. Now, I don't know if any of my hens are Black Copper Morans, for the simple reason is, <clears throat> the simple reason is, um, they, they're very similar in coloring to my crossbreeds that I bred from last year. So it's going to be a wait and see. And I'm not getting any dark brown eggs yet. They're just all starting to lay nicely. I think we're going to dispatch the black copper moran rooster and the spotted rooster. Because I'm pretty sure that beautiful black one with the dark yellow feet and the, the mute that his comb is all kind of squash looking. I'm almost positive he is a dark Cornish rooster. And if he's a dark Cornish rooster... It's his babies I want I want to be ha hatching this year for, for meat. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It, it, feel free to weigh in on that. There's also the fact that both of those roosters are new blood compared to the old, uh, the laying hens that I, I have right now are from my older laying hens. Uh, I've gotten a few emails to remind me that yes my birthday's on Saturday whoopee I'm gonna be 51 well I guess there's something to be said for living this long um, and that people are going through Mrs. Wolfie and Wolfie uh, withdraw 
But I'm so I I just thought I'd drop in and say hello and let you guys all know how I'm doing. Uh, Nan's here. Wolfie's mom is here, and uh, she's been wonderful. She's been really wonderful. Poor lady comes to visit and spend her time with me, and I up and get sick on her. And it's all I can do right now to uh, keep the fire going and cook meals and and. Uh, and put the dogs out for a pee. But, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to try and have a shower after I finish this and see if I can perk up some and sit up and watch some TV and do some sewing. But I'm not going to get all my stuff done <laughs> that I wanted to do while I was taking this time off. Turns out, just in case I decided to work while I was taking my time off, fate stepped in and said, no, get sick, because that's the only way you're going to rest. So next month I'll be collecting, starting to collect uh, eggs for hatching at the end of February. And so we'll get to see what, what we're going to have for babies. So I think, yes, I'm going to keep my dark, my, uh, dark Cornish rooster. And uh, we've kept Whitey, our one male royal palm, and we've kept three of the Narragans at baby hens for him. He has a little harem going out there, and yes, we still have mom, pa, kettle. So I think what I may do is, because we had a lot of turkey chicks last year, and we had a really good hatch rate, so I think this year I'm going to offer some uh, some turkey poults for sale in my local area. But other than that, you know, it's all good, and I'm going to try and get some videos done in the next couple of days. But man, oh man, this this cold is flu thing is kicking the crap out of me, so... It may be a few days. Anyway, hope everyone's having a wonderful new year so far. And you're staying warm and safe and among those people that you love. All right? We'll talk to you in a few days. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>